All right, so today we're gonna do a stay lock fitting. I'm gonna go through it step by step. And I did 25 individual lines, so approximately 50 on my mast. And this is what one looks like. Down here, buddy. We start with a clean edge of cable and uh, back up a little bit because we have to be able to slip these parts over it. So after we cut the cable, we polish the edges of, edges of it. We take the stay lock apart. It has an inside piece, the cup, has the former cone, has the outside nut. And I gotta get the outside nut on there. And if it's too tight, I gotta clean it up a little bit. Slide the nut on. Inside, there is a little bit of Tef gel. If you're reusing an old one, make sure you add some Tef gel to the inside. I use this little pick and I unwind the outer layer of the cable. Just like that. So once I have the outer layer of cable unwound, see it just unscrews itself. I take the inner core and I note that the inner core has a little bit of a burr on it. So in the direction that it's wound, I'm gonna put a pair of pliers on it and just spin it. And that will clean that burr up a little bit. So I can take the pointy end of the former and try to slide it over that. There it goes. So once I get it on, I can push it up past the end of the cable. Okay. Once it gets past that burr, it moves pretty easily. And I want a little piece sticking out here that is less than the amount of space in the bottom of the hole down there. It's a three to five millimeters, I believe is what it says on the package. And then I just start winding these cables back up. Just spin them right in there, just screw them right down. When I get to this point, this will sometimes move around. So I'll bring the nut up and now I take the pick and I very carefully line up one at a time. These are crossed. So I uncross them, move that one over, move that one over, all the way around. Uh, these two are crossed, so I'll put the pick in there and uncross them. And I'll move them, I'll move this one over across the top of the slot to the other side. One at a time, all the way around. And I'm just using the nut to kind of hold things in place. These two are backwards, there we go. Move that over, keep going. Another one that's crossed. You can uncross these ahead of time, but I find it's not worth the effort. So now I have all of them laying in there. So the last thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure one isn't sitting inside the slot. So since there's one sitting inside the slot, I'll pull these all around a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter, and that gives me room 
to put this one either on that side of the slot or the other side. And I think I'm gonna put this on this side. So I can use this little pick and just set it right there. And then I can move these around a little bit. I'm just looking for a somewhat, back up, a somewhat uniform layout. When I put this in, I should be able to get the first thread started. So once I get the first thread started, take two crescent wrenches. Just tighten that thing down a lot. What I'm feeling for is a clicking. If I'm turning this and I feel it going click, 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 I have to stop and back up because that means I got one in the slot. This should not be in the slot. This should be free. And this is a large diameter table. So I'll do the final tightening with a bigger wrench. But I get it to there. The first couple I do, I always go back and check. So once I get it there, I unscrew it. Now look at what the tips did. Doesn't that look nice? They're nice and even. There's nothing pinched. Everything's good. There's enough space that it goes right to the end I left out so it all sits inside the cup. So I inspected it, it looks good. If something's crooked, if something's overlapped, if something's out of place, I can see it there. I can see if the center tip is too short. The only drawback is if I have screwed it up, I actually have to cut that end off and start over. So when we cut the cables, we always leave them a little bit long just in case. <clears throat> I'll come back and torque that with a larger set of crescent wrenches so I get it really tight. And that is how I do a stay lock. Now we're doing a cable, we're not just doing one end. So I put this end on. because our actual measurement is pin to pin. So since the measurement includes a toggle, when I go to measure the cable, I wanna make sure my toggle is included. I'm gonna line the toggle up with the screw. that way. Our measurement is, for this particular piece of cable is 49 feet, seven and a half inches, pin to pin. I set the other end on zero. If I take the assembly that goes on the bottom, and I put, the, put this pin at 49 feet, seven and a half inches. Right there. Now this piece that I'm gonna put on goes in here and lines up with this pinhole. I'll show you how I check the depth. I take the pin, go all the way to the bottom. It's that deep right now. Where's my depth at? My depth is that line right there. So I line this up.
I use my finger as a pin to hold it in position. I double check over here. This pin is at 49 feet, seven and a half inches, middle of the pin. Stay right there. I'm gonna walk all the way down here. This pin is at zero. This pin is at 49, seven and a half. This is lined up. I'm gonna mark the cable. And that's where I'm gonna cut it. Now I take the cable out. Back up, buddy. Lots of sparks. We have to pull along. Okay, so now I'm gonna make this tighter again because it kind of opens up and it makes it hard to get the nut, nut off. Be careful where I touch because this is super hot right now. So now I can put the nut on. These are getting hot in the sunshine too. I'll note again, there's the nut, the former, and inside is the cup. It's hard to see, but there's a cup in there. There's Tef gel in here. The Tef gel keeps everything from seizing up and corroding. Hey, look, there's the nut on there. Now that the nut's on, I take this little pick I bought and I take off the outer layer of cable. Maybe I'll punch it. This uh, tip might be too rough to put the former in, so I can clean it up a little bit with a pair of pliers or a file. I just don't want to unwind this inner cable. Ouch, hot. Like I said, be careful. There it goes, just like that. Again, I want to leave four to five millimeters, maybe what the package says, but I want to leave this little bit sticking out. Now I take the cable and I start putting the lines back in. Right here. And I screw it together. Now my inner piece moved. I need to adjust that while I see it and keep it correct. This one has to go around. Then that one. Come here, you. There we go. This is a really bad twist right here. So I'll just pop it out like that. Get in between two strands and just walk out the end. Then I can try to get the inner strand inside and bring it around. The more they get around in the right place, the further up you can move the nut, and then the nut holds everything for you while you work on it. Pop that one out again, there we go. And now, you should be able to walk these around one at a time. You can use your thumbs if you like your thumbs all cut up, because the tips of these are really sharp. Now here we have one in the slot. I'm going to lift it out of the slot and push it further along. And that's where it wants to land, so I'm going to move it. There we go. I don't want the slot blocked, so the cables need to sit on either side of it. So each of these legs, I'm going to push around until they're more or less uniformly spaced and they're not blocking the slot because that'll allow the inside to compress. Now push the nut down a little bit. I double check it. Everything's lined up and looks good. 
So I should be able to put this nut on to the eye. Grab a couple of wrenches. and screw them together. As I'm screwing them together, I'm feeling, if I feel it clicking, so I start to push it, it goes tch, tch, tch. Then I gotta stop and back out because I've got a line out of place. But if it goes in smooth and tight, then it's good. question if it didn't feel comfortable if I wasn't sure then I unscrew this I look at it I put it back together but that one felt really good so all I have left to do is the final torque with the big wrenches and that's how you do a stay lock thank you guys have a nice day